when you've got a room full of invertebrates and about a million projects going on at once, sometimes it's just too much effort for me to put things away just to start filming. So in today's video, I'm gonna be stood at a weird, awkward angle by placing things on top of this vivarium for us to look at. <sighs> Amateur. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So what's on this table has got nothing to do with today. In fact, it's not really being filmed either. I'm setting up a, a vivarium for future isopods and it's not a lot to look at. Uh, we'll go into that in the future when it's all prepared and ready to go. But today's video, we're actually going to look at some new tarantula additions that I picked up from Skinny Legs Tarantulas. So on the Friday just gone my time, so probably longer for you guys, I went up to visit Skinny Legs in Barnstable and I had an amazing time, saw some amazing animals. In fact, I even saw my dream tarantula up there. But today's video is looking at the pickups. Now I actually traded in about 12 of my teas. I'm not gonna go listing them all guys, but they're just ones that just didn't have that kind of personality or that oomph in my collection for me to continue keeping. So we did a trade and how many have I got to show you today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tarantulas traded for 12, not half bad. So let me just pile the guys up on here and we'll have a quick look at them. Okay, so I've piled a few up on here. In fact, it was six that I got, and one was gifted to me by someone who actually subscribed to quite a lot of our channels, whose name will go by Lolly, if you see the comments below. And Lolly gave me a P. Lugardi, so massive shout out and a thanks to you. Then we also picked up uh, a sling of a Pamphobetius species nigricolor, we got a Pamphobetius uh, Vespertinus, Vespertinus? B -b 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 I don't know if I pronounced that right. We got a Pamphobetius Platyoma. We got a Pseudohapalopus species Columbia Blue Sling. We got an absolutely wonderful, and I can't wait to show you this, Megaphobema Velvetosoma right in here. Oh, that was a beauty, but I think probably the ultimate who has molted you have molted wow okay and this ladies and gentlemen is the pamphobetius in cygnus but not the one that you usually see so you will normally find the ecuadorian one when you are shopping for the pamphobetius in cygnus this one is the one from Colombia. Makes it that little bit more rare, a little bit more special. There are not many Colombian versions of these dotted around in the UK at the moment. So we're not gonna actually be doing any rehousings today and that is because I promised my little girl that I would do some with her. I'm trying to involve her a bit more in what I do now and I don't really wanna be bringing her on the camera. So instead, for this video, all we're gonna do is take a look at each one of these beauties. Let's do this now. Okay, so here they are on top of my messy vivarium. Look at the state of the realm right now, guys. Ooh, so what happens when you come back from holiday, right? You don't wanna be worrying about putting things away. So this is the Lugardi. Now I'm gonna be freehanding with no catch cup here, folks. So uh, pray for me. Oh, goodness me, Sam. Just at least make a little bit of space for your filming. Okay. Where have you gone? Ah, there you are. That is our P. Lugardi. Little and lovely. Focus camera, focus. There it is. So you can already tell it's taking on its juvenile colours. It's not liking the light, so we're just going to pop the lid straight back on this one. But uh, thank you, Lolly, for this beautiful new addition. Never owned one of these, so I'm excited to see how I get on with it. 
So we're not going to go save the best for last. Let's go look at this in Cygnus right here, right now. Now, we're only going to have a little look at this one because of it being freshly molted. Here you can see. Um, I'll wait for this one to harden up before I rehouse. So you can see it was kind of just brownish before. And now it's taken on some beautiful colours. The reds. And it's almost kind of like bluish on the legs, although I think that will change when it hardens. It's tipped its water bowl up to molt. That's quite funny. So when we looked at this one, we were saying, oh, this one is in pre-molt. And uh, I'll get it home, and within the next day, bada bing, bada bing. So there we have our Colombian version of the Pamphibetius in Cygnus. Okay, I've got to keep shutting my camera off to, to go to the next one because uh, one handed and all. Right, which one next? Okay, we're going to have a look at our little uh, Negri color sling now. So this looks just like a majority of your Pamphibetius slings. Christmas tree pattern with black and red. And then you have a beigey carapace with like a, a bluish tone to it in the middle and on the legs. So it's got a bit of a booty on this one. So that's exciting, right? So let's compare this Negri color to our Platyoma. I'm pretty sure they're gonna look almost identical. Here's the Platyoma. Oh, I can't do it. Well thought out video process. Mr. Bug Realms. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Where are you? Aha, down there. So you can see, there's not much different to look at for you guys. It's still got the same tones, the same patternings, but will change as it grows. So what I love about Panthos, they always start off like this, or mostly start off like this. Cute little Christmas trees, but then they turn into some whopping beauties. And I tell you what, at full size, some of these species take on some bulk. So we're left with two more spiders to look at now. I think looking at our uh, Vespertinus there will be better. You can just about make it out. And you can see how they start taking on from sling to juvenile coloration. So let me just pop these lids on and we'll check out that one. So here we go. Please don't do a runner. There it is. So it is just like a bigger version of the slings that you saw. It will soon start to lose that Christmas tree patterning as it grows. But look at it. It's literally just like a bigger version of what you saw. The blob on the carapace extends outwards now where the blooms, the blooms, the blooms, where the blues will start to go into the beiges. So it's raised its abdomen a bit there. It's a little bit distressed from me lifting off the lid and having a light on it. But I uh, wanted to share it with you nonetheless. So there we go. Now this Pseudohaploca species Columbia Blue, we're not really going to see anything. It's a brown sling right now. Where are you? Focus camera. Where are you? Okay, I literally can't work out where it is. It's somewhere burrowed. This is a beautiful tarantula. If you look it up on Google, you'll see what to expect later, but I'm not gonna go wasting time around a little brown sling. Now this one is probably the biggest one I've taken on. Well, it is, not probably, it is the biggest one I've taken on for, for today's video. I kind of should really use my tongs here, but um, as you can see the state of the realm right now, I can't actually find them. But it is just under here. We do need something to be able to pick this up with. I would use my hands, but I don't really want a reasonable size Megaphobema biting onto my thumb. So let me just see what I can find a moment. It was on the sling shelf. Ba 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 ba. Right, these can be sketchy tees. Oh, I looked away then. It is huddled, guys but I will show you this one in the future. Now these guys have red abdomens, they have red setae. 
but they also have a brown body. It's not like your, like your Robustums that you see. Normally on YouTube channels, you'll see a Mega Fabema Robustum, which has more of a red on the legs and things. But these have just uh, really sparked my interest and it is another genus that I will be considering more in the future. So that is it. I know it wasn't a huge amount to look at, but I'm not about disturbing my teas for your entertainment. I am here just to document what I do, what I love, and what I've picked up. So we're gonna pop that back on there now. What I'd like you guys to do, hang on, why am I still just talking? Why do you wanna look at a hand? Let's put this back on me. Let's put this back on me and I'm gonna tell you what I'd like you guys to do. Okay, that's better, right? What I'd like you guys to do is I'd like you to comment me below the one that most interests you and whichever one sparks the most interest, we will do a video on. So I'm going to rehouse these for my kid, but I will base a specific video on whichever one of these gets the most votes in the comment below. Um, then what we'll do on the video, maybe rehouse again, maybe redesign the enclosure, maybe do a feeding clip, maybe do a husbandry clip. I don't know but I am interested to see which one sparks your interest the most. So that's gonna be all from today's video. Um, I think possibly next video might be a tad more interesting because I'm gonna to aim to rehouse my Theraphosis Sturmy. She is a big girl now, she's not fully grown, she's still a juvenile, but she is a good sized juvenile, so hopefully you enjoy that one. So thanks for bearing with me guys, thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.